I'm going to play some of this multiplayer too now. I haven't started. It's a limited series for the Satimo. But that doesn't mean there's a guaranteed epic for the Satimo. It's just an epic for one of the cars in this season. And actually, oh yeah, the Satimo is there at least. Yeah. I'm not sure about these limited series though, where it's got multiple cars, but only one of them's really worth driving. I'll do the first race in the Valkyrie. Just to warm up. And I wanted to talk about Pinocchio. So I want I, I want to talk about Pinocchio. There's there's three movies at the moment called Pinocchio. There's three new movies called Pinocchio. There's two this year and there's one from 2020. And the one from 2020 stuck in my mind the moment I watched it. I've, I've always been really connected to Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a... My simple version in my head of what the story was about was about a little boy that lies and his nose grows. That's what everyone remembers. But I have this sort of deep um, connection to Pinocchio. It feels like the only story I remember from my childhood. It feels like the story that just gets repeated over and over again in my head, the Pinocchio story. But I'd, I'd never really, until I saw this movie, this 2020 Italian movie of Pinocchio, I don't think I really got the story because it's really dark. It's um, let's explain. I I thought it was about time that we got a Pinocchio remake because I could, firstly I just could remember this this old. I think it was a Disney cartoon. It's a pretty short story. There's a blue fairy that grants wishes. Pinocchio's nose grows. He wants to be a real boy. Blah blah blah. And and. When this movie came out, this Italian language one, it's really interestingly shot, really well shot, beautiful, beautiful cinematography, really nice acting, and the way they talk is wonderful. It's like this, it's a bit Eastern European, but it is in the way they talk. I, I can't explain it, you have to watch it. It's a nice long movie, it's over two hours, and but when you actually look at what's the Pinocchio story about, it's about a kid getting into trouble. It's about what might happen to you if you don't listen to your dad. So it, it, it starts with, he, he makes this wooden puppet and it comes to, comes to life. And then the puppet, because the puppet's only just been born as such, it doesn't know what's, what's good for it and what's not good for it. So it has to listen to its dad. And so the first bit shows it sitting by the fire because it likes how warm the fire is by its feet. But his dad goes, don't sit too close to the fire, you'll, you'll burn your feet. And then he falls asleep in front of the fire and one of his legs catches fire and he has to be repaired. And it's sort of just saying, look, you didn't listen to your dad and a bad thing happened. And then the next day he's got to go to school. He's only one day old, but now he's got to go to school. And his dad gives him some money for lunch to go to school or something and says, be home by this time. And he, he goes out to go, to go to school. And on his way to school... These people persuade him that the money would be better spent buying something to make his dad happy. And they, they, they con him into walking away somewhere. And then they hang him by a rope by his neck in a tree. So they basically hang a little boy in a tree and let, leave him for dead. Then he, then, <laughs> sorry, wait a sec. This is, it's so dark. You, it goes on. It just gets darker and darker and darker and darker. As the, and you're wondering, when's the nose going to grow as you're watching this movie? And you realise how dark the story is. And that's why Disney never really remade it. Because this story about Pinocchio is not a nice little children's story. It's a, it's a mantra. It's a, it's a brainwashing technique to get children to behave. When, when I was in Cyprus, my dad was talking to someone and laughing about how China had put a teacher in prison for writing a, a, a story that influenced children in a way that they didn't want to be influenced. And he was thinking that's so archaic. But if you look at all our children's stories, they're all just to influence the children into becoming certain things. And Pinocchio is one of the... Oh, I didn't want to stay up on that one. Pinocchio is one of the best examples of it. It's just this horrid story to scare children to death into doing what their parents say, thinking that the worst possible things will happen if they don't do what their parents say. So what, what happens next to him? He, he's hanging out with a friend, and the friend says, do you want to come? They, they, they walk, they're walking home, and the friend goes, oh, no, I've got to go home now, and 
oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but I want to hang out more. Oh, well, I'm going to the island of fun things, you know, like that. This car's not fast enough to keep up with those Satimos. So I'm going to the island of fun things. Do you want to come? No, I've got to get home. Oh, don't you want to have fun at the island of fun things? And then there's all these kids on this car all going to the island of fun things and they're going to have all uh, the, the pleasure island or something and they're all going to go there and they're going to have loads of fun but then when he gets to pleasure island they all have they all start playing games but all the children start disappearing one by one because they're being turned into donkeys you know so they've gone to treasure island they've been given some poison food they're now turning into donkeys then once he's turned into a donkey he gets sold to a a circus then he breaks his leg when performing as a donkey in the circus and they decide the donkey isn't worth anything anymore so they bound bound up his legs and throw him in the sea to drown him then his father goes to search for him but his father gets washed away in the sea and eaten by a whale it's it's look what you did pinocchio you've caused the death of your own father just by not listening to him and going home on time it's utterly utterly like <laughs> ridiculously traumatic story for a child to ever it should have an 18 certificate on the italian version of pinocchio which is on amazon prime at the moment and you really should watch it's got a director matteo garone the disney one with tom hanks piece of shit <laughs> so don't like watch it to see how crap it is compared to the italian version pinocchio and then what I'm waiting for is on Netflix in a week or two, another Pinocchio is coming out by Guillermo del Toro, which is obviously going to be better than the Disney Pinocchio. I'm going to change to the Satimo now. Well, no, actually, I might just use the fuel up. You know, I am looking forward to this next Pinocchio. And it's just interesting that they all come out at the same time it's like the the interconnectedness of all things that everyone's thinking it's time for the pinocchio remake and disney think they they own the world so they're going to make theirs but it's so that they had to they're, they're bound by these rules that they have to be nice and make children happy and parents happy and and you just can't with such a dark story oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> same same time to three decimal points. The Disney one was... I, I kind of had to skip through it. It's got Tom Hanks in it. He's a very good actor. I like him in lots of things, but he was too smiley in Pinocchio and the, and the outfit was too cartoony and sort of gaudy and and just after watching the 2020 italian language pinocchio it was just so beautiful the the mood in it was stuck like it's so relaxing to watch i love those movies where you get just completely lost and they can be really slow burn like like um better call soul soul just slow but incredible like engaging and I don't know when the next one, the, the Guillermo del Toro one's out on Netflix soon. I'm just looking when it's coming out. I think it, it just says worth the wait at the moment, I think. But it's nice how they all come out at the same time. It, do, it does show the in interconnectedness of all things. No. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it just says worth the wait at the moment. But the the image that Netflix have put against Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is beautiful. It's like this this stick figure with joints all made of wood. It's like a proper different looking Pinocchio. It's exciting. I never lied as a child, but I, but people always use that Pinocchio story on me. That's why it's been drummed in so much. I don't remember the other... And I, I remember as an adult, like when I was about 18, working out the shooting star thing was strange. I couldn't stop thinking about the fact that in Pinocchio, we wish on a sh shooting star, which means that an African never wrote that story. That, like, no one living near the equator would ever wish on a shooting star because they happen every five minutes it's a very european sort of northern halfway up the northern hemisphere type thing and i just thought that was interesting that the stories only only could make sense to a european if you grew up on the equator shooting stars literally happen every five minutes And so their cultures never would have come up with wishing on a shooting star. You'd have too many wishes. <laughs> right, how are we going to finish this race? Ah. Uh... I think I get to unlock this car tomorrow, this Atimo. I'll buy packs for it tomorrow. And I'll take it to two star, I think, like the like the Jakuma. In the Disney version of Pinocchio, it kind of ends after he finds his father in the whale. But in the Italian version, after he finds his father in the whale, he then has to rescue... He, he then has to look after his father to make him better. So first he has to... Well, first he has to get him some water, and then he has to get him some milk. And he has to go, and go to work to earn the money to buy the milk to save his father from the near death that he's going to experience because... Don't crash because... Oh, that was not right. Can we catch up? I'm in a really bad spot there to catch up. No, I can't. Ah! Oh, there's a slipstream. Catch up. <laughs> the void stole my race. Come on, come on, come on. At least get back to, like, fourth or something. Go. Third. Wants to do backflips. Second. Yeah, that was only sort of a two third point in the Italian movie, the finding his father in the whale. And the going to work, like he's a little boy, he's actually only like three weeks old. And now you're sending him to work on a farm to earn the money to get some milk to feed his father. Western, Western attitudes don't support sending kids to factories to work. <laughs> Eastern European and Italian more, more accept that concept of looking after the family. It's, it's like the differences between the, the movies. When I talked ages ago about the two movies, The Guilty, one Danish one and then, a, and then one with Jake Gyllenhaal, and how it was exactly the same movie, but they'd changed all these elements just to make it understandable by a Western audience. Pinocchio is too scary. The, the pure story of Pinocchio is too scary for children that Disney can't actually release a proper Pinocchio story that they have to do this sort of watered down 
funny, funny, family friendly Pinocchio when it, it's just a terror story. And then I go back to that Chinese woman that got put in prison for writing a kid story. Like, yes, that you you can write stories for children that badly influence them, and it's just subjective what you want, what you want, how you want them to be influenced in the first place. So every country's always had principles on. Oh, let's get to Shockwave. Maybe catch up now. Are you going to go down the middle? Yes. Ah, fourth. Lost that one in the middle. There's easily ways you could write kids' stories in England. One, they would never get published. If they, if they were inappropriate or, or trying to influence children in a bad way, you'd probably never get to manage to publish them. Oh, we've got to sit up. Can't see, wouldn't turn. I switched to tilt, but the car wouldn't turn when I was moving my phone. Now the physics is going strange. Why did my car do that? Let's refuel. Carry on. Good luck, guys. Watch Pinocchio. I'm mad. Watch Pinocchio, guys. Any of them and all of them. Good luck. I'm madder than you.